this is Ray's Grid, a normal Minecraft world with 99% of all blocks removed. Despite its extremeness, everything is still possible. With the goal of the series to obtain every advancement, item, as well as mob. Check out episode 0 to learn more details, including how you can join in playing this world. In the last episode, we left off right as we designed our first cobblestone generator. This is a big milestone as it gives us access to infinite amounts of blocks which we can use to expand our platform and reach out to more resources with less risk. With a continual cobble source secured, our next goal is to acquire iron so we can get an iron pickaxe and get those diamonds. Okay, there's some water. But first, I come in and put in another waterfall giving us more access points to travel up and down. Hello! We'll put this water over here just in case someone falls off the structure. To get the iron, we will have to remake our stone pickaxe that we lost. I then traveled downwards to find some iron, but on the way down, I found this. There's floating lichen over there. Typically, these blocks would need a supporting block in order to not pop off as an item, but in raised grid, these naturally generated blocks will stay that way until updated or if they naturally grow. Oh, here's some iron. Ooh, there's diamonds over there too. With one iron down, I then scout the area for the next one. Must be a mine shaft over there? All structures are still left in the game, but 99% of their blocks have been removed, making it much more difficult to find them, and insanely difficult to find any loot chests that come with them. Any more iron? Oh, there's iron over there. You got iron pickaxe? <gasps> oh, that was scary. Block was missing. Oh! My, my jump button doesn't always click. Okay, maybe I should return with this iron. My steam controller then all of a sudden it stopped working right as I was trying to sprint across the grid. I typically play on a controller for ergonomics, but with it not working, I had to switch back to my split ortho ergonomic keyboard, which I have actually strapped to the underside of my chair. The only problem with it is that I have a custom layout on it, which I don't actually have an easy sprint key for Minecraft, and I wasn't about to learn a new layout while dangling over the void. Luckily, I have a backup normal keyboard sitting on my desk, but it does make a bit more noise. Okay, I got one more iron. Oh, someone got copper. Okay, we got two furnaces though, don't we? We got a furnace over here. <laughs> Look in the lever. Being years since I've played Minecraft on an actual keyboard, I gingerly make my way out to grab some more iron. Ooh, Enderman! I wasn't geared to kill the Enderman, so I went after some nearby iron that I seen and tried to hop on top of it. No! <laughs> yes, I got more iron. Wanting to take no risk, I decided to deposit off the iron before going after more. In the meantime, everybody has been very busy at expanding the platform and adding in more saplings as well as improving the cobble jets so four people can mine at once. I still need a third iron in order to make that pickaxe, so we head back down to find our last piece. On my journeys to scope out some iron, I did find this weird enderman. Ooh, enderman. Okay, let's go try to kill the enderman. <laughs> Dude, what is he? He's like hopping in the water. We do eventually need ender pearls to make the eyes of ender to get to the end dimension. Unfortunately, he teleported away because of all the rain that was falling down. The rain also made it very difficult to see the iron and with the new iron texture being different than what I was used to, it camouflages very well with the new tough blocks as well as the deep slate. I don't see any iron. Oh, <gasps> there's iron! Let's see if I can get this iron without dying. With the iron acquired, I excitedly make my way back with the final piece. Okay, I'm coming back with one iron. <laughs> oh, there's a spider! Hey, I like that. I like the water's up high, so we can easily come back again. Oh, Another iron. So while waiting for the iron to be smelted down, I decided to sacrifice myself to the void gods in order to recharge my health and hunger. But not making it into the void before dying surely will have upset the void gods. What bad luck this brings us, we'll have to wait to see. I'm taking these three iron ingots. See if I can get some diamonds. 
got full health. I seen tons of diamonds. Ooh, people make an amazing walking space. Oh yeah, I also got the advancements. Isn't it iron pick? So I upgraded to iron pick and I also got the hot stuff advancement for picking up the lava with the iron pickaxe made. I head down into the dark to find our first diamonds. It's safe to go down when it's night. When it's dark, it's kind of hard because you can just get killed by a random skeleton. Uh, so I wouldn't okay. recommend it. I do F3 plus B. Oh, I guess there's a skeleton already trying to shoot at me. There's an arrow right there. I like all the skeletons. Holy moly. But being overwhelmed with mobs, I decided to head back and try out the new cobblestone generator until it turns day again. The urge to get those diamonds was so great, I decided to give up the cobblestone mining in hopes I could get past all the mobs underneath in hopes to get those diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> we also kind of made a huge like mob trap underneath of our platform. It turns out the bigger the platform got above, the more mobs spawned underneath, making it more and more dangerous. If I go really low, maybe there will be no mobs. Oh, uh, that's not true. <laughs> I can assure you it's not true. <gasps> no! Where are the arrows? Okay. Oh, no, there's still skeletons here. No, there's still skeletons here. No, 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 skeleton in the water with me! <laughs> Oh, this is so scary. Where is he? <gasps> no, I'm gonna die. I can't see him in the water. I can barely see anything here. Let's just hop away from here. Let's get some diamonds. At least let's get one diamond. With the rain coming down in the middle of the night and mobs all around me, I spot some diamonds at the very bottom of the world, just above the board, and make my way out to obtain them. Ah, <gasps> yes! Yes, I got the advancement! Diamonds. Choir diamonds, amazing. Okay, if we get back. <gasps> With the majority of the blocks removed in the world, Diamonds are much more rare, but since there's nothing obscuring us from seeing almost every block that there is there, finding diamonds becomes easier. Oh, there's more diamonds. Should I go after more diamonds? With a second diamond ore spotted, my greed <laughs> overtakes me. I mean, what's the difference if I die with one or if I die with two? Oh, get it. So close. No mobs nearby? That's up. Yes, two diamonds. I wonder if I can get the third. Ooh, I stopped running. Yay. There's diamonds way over there. They go all the way over. I think that's like near the bottom of the world. With the diamond fever taking me over, I decide to go after the third diamond, which I spot just above the void. Even with low health, I decided to risk it all by trying to get the third one. If I just mine straight down to it, I'm going to lose a half a heart every time I fall down to the next layer. So I instead, mine a block and as soon as I fall, I come in and place a block underneath me, making me not fall as far and therefore not taking any damage. This is so sketchy. <laughs> I'm right by the void. Oh, yes, I got it. Okay. Now we need to make ourselves over to this path over here. At the low health. But I'm not safe yet. I still gotta make my way back to the water stream and up to the spawn platform. Hopefully we can get up without skeleton sniping us. Ooh. This is a nice path. Making it safely to this lovely path and with the sun rising and all three diamonds of inventory, my confidence really goes up. Oh my gosh, guys. We returned. We got three diamonds. Just need some wood now. Okay, got some wood. Got diamonds. Let's craft up diamond pickaxe yes now we're so much closer to reaching new advancements the diamond pickaxe will also be useful later on when we need to get obsidian for enchanting tables now that i acquired a decent amount of good stuff i decided to make myself a personal chest so that i could safely deposit things that i collect and then come back to use them for bigger projects oh my goodness finally got a diamond pickaxe i'm gonna jump in the void to reset i got some levels but levels aren't too useful Okay, so the guys have this extra obsidian that accidentally got produced. 
by making a cobbled gen and got lava converted over to obsidian. Let's go ahead and use our pickaxe to remove it from spawn and give us a little bit closer to making a portal here. Also got the advancement obtained, obsidian, ice bucket challenge. Not much closer to getting all the different achievements. Very cool. So if we want to make an obsidian portal or another portal here, we just bring up lava and then we convert it over. So we're going to go down and try to get a bunch of lava so we can have another portal here at spawn. And all the lava is down way low where there's a skeleton. So I'm just risking the iron bucket. Iron is really hard to actually get just because everything nearby spawn has been already taken. Goal is to grab lava then get back to spawn without dying. Need some lava over here. Can I kidney quarter grab this? Oh, I can. Nice. We got one. We need a total of 10 different lava sources in order to get ourselves another portal. Oh, skeleton attacked me. Keep moving. Rather than trying to juggle lava as well as water to make another portal without using a diamond pickaxe, it's much easier to just place down the lava, convert to obsidian, then mine it up, and then once we get all of the obsidian, we put the portal right where we want it. And we don't have to worry about water or lava accidentally griefing other people's stuff. Place it there. Awesome. So we got some obsidian to mine up. Let's go ahead and mine this one up as well. Oh yeah, that works. Let's mine this lava, get some more obsidian. Grab another one with others risking their lives to obtain more lava and bring it to the surface in the goal to make another portal. I then pick up their lava, place it by the water, and mine it up to get the blocks. Okay, where should we put our portal? After doing some mathematical calculations, I decided to put the portal near world spawn point. Put it right here. With four obsidian placed down and six more needed, I continue converting and then mining. Let's grab the next lava. Okay, I'll put these the other two obsidian over here. Okay, I'll try to go grab some some more lava. You hear the skeletons. Ah oh, shoot. Skeletons attacking me. Needing only four more lava sources, I decided to hop down to the bottom of the world to help the guys out get the rest. Having went a bit further out to avoid skeletons that are directly beneath the spawn, I now found myself with the lava but far from spawn. Oh shoot, skeleton. With the skeletons attacking me, I panic and take up any water stream possible in hopes to escape their arrows. Wait, how do I get back up again? Hey, I made this far. Hey, I arrived with one more lava source. Okay, let's place the water there, and if I place up there, we could also get obsidian that way. Just a lot easier to mine it up. Hey, now I got the portal complete. Amazing. So now we just need flint and steel. We then grab ourselves some gravel to get the flint and an extra iron in order to make the flint and steel. Awesome, so we got iron, got flint. Go ahead and make Hogger. flint steel. And you guys ready? <laughs> Light the portal. Going over to another dimension. Getting access to the nether is going to open up so much new stuff. From getting access to new blocks and mobs, which open up new farms, to using the nether for the new advancements as well as nether travel so we can actually get to more overworld biomes. This is all going to be great for the goals of the series which is to get all advancements, items, and mobs. So leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss that. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Raise Grid.